Hey, what's up everybody? Jeff here, Lifelong Gamer and Partnerships Manager at Powder. I'm really excited to be leading today's demo as I get to walk you through some of the latest and greatest features of Powder. Before we dive into things, you can go to powder.gg now to download the PC app to your Windows computer and try all of our amazing automation features yourself. For those of you that are new to Powder, Powder is a game-changing platform that we have designed to revolutionize the way that gaming creators produce, edit, and share their streaming content. And today we're going to be covering a couple of topics such as an overview of Powder's core technology, a walkthrough of the user interface, how to extract highlights from a stream, how to post highlights to TikTok using the Powder vertical layering system, and how to create a montage of our best streaming highlights. So with all of that out of the way, let's take Powder for a spin. So for the purposes of today's video, we've skipped over a couple of steps where you go to powder.gg, download the PC app to your Windows computer, install the app, and then open it up to sign up to Powder using your, either your Discord login or your email. Once you've signed up, you'll receive a confirmation code to your email that will enable you to use Powder. So for those of you uh, who need a refresher, ultimately Powder is a game discovery engine and content distribution platform, and it leverages two different types of amazing AI technology to help creators dramatically reduce the time that it takes to go from live streaming to posting amazing highlights across social media. One AI that we use is game specific. So we've trained AI models to detect the best in-game moments in over 48 of the world's most popular games. So when you play any of these 48 games on stream, and then you process that stream through Powder, our AI will analyze what is happening in-game, auto-detect the best moments, and then present them to you as a potential highlight to edit and post. So this could mean like a great goal in FIFA, a skillful headshot in PUBG, painful death in Cuphead, or an amazing win in Fall Guys, and so on. The other AI that we use is Game Agnostic, and that makes it really, really interesting. It does anonymous emotion detection and sound analysis via the audio stream. So this AI is perfect for creators that are streaming on Twitch or YouTube or Kick or other VOD, because when you laugh, you cry, you scream or shout, our AI will analyze what is happening on screen. It will identify amazing moments that need to be captured, and then it will auto create a highlight for you. And the awesome thing about this tech is, is that it works on all 50,000 plus games that are in Steam, any game on the Epic Games Launcher, EA, and more. So now it's time to get into things. The screen that you've been looking at here this entire time is the home screen of the Powder app. On the left, we have the nav bar that lets you choose between whether you want to extract highlights from a stream or a gameplay session, uh, review your highlights, or create and review a montage. And we're going to go through all of these section by section. So we'll kick things off at the top left at library. So let's take it from the top. Underneath library, we have studio. This is the part of the platform that will extract AI driven highlights from any of your streaming or gaming sessions. Then we have highlights. This is where you can find all of your highlights, be they in game or stream highlights. And here you can toggle between different gaming and streaming sessions, different days and times, and everything in your highlights library is organized by session and date so that you could find all of your clips in chronological order. And you, if you hover over them, you can see how many clips were generated from one particular session. As you can see, I like PUBG and Stumble Guys, and I've got a, quite a few clips down here that have been optimized for vertical formats. But we're going to come back to that in just a moment. Then we have montages. Montages are where you merge your best streaming or gaming highlights into one awesome clip. And again, we're going to come back to this in just a moment when we're going to make a montage of our own from some streaming content. Now, the next section in this video is not the most exciting part, but neither is brushing your teeth. But it's got to be done and your day is probably going to be better for doing it. So underneath the utility section here, we have the join our Discord button. So if you click this, you'll join our Discord that has over 73,000 other like-minded gamers. There you'll have the opportunity to connect with a community of innovators and creators that are eager to pave the way in a new era of content creation. Then we have settings. Settings is exactly what it says on the tin. Here you can set your preferences for your recording and storage, your audio and emotion detection, your video performance, and just general settings. And of course, you can always check out the patch notes. Then last but not least, we have the profile section. Here you can change your profile picture. Just don't use my one because I like it and then connect your Discord or your TikTok if you haven't done so already. So now that I've given you a lay of the land, let's make some highlights and montages from a stream in Powder. Powder was designed to do three main things for creators, save, simplify, and grow. And we achieved this with some amazing automation features. So we're gonna to start today with save. First and foremost, Powder was designed to save you time and money as a creator. 
Gaming creators and their editors spent countless hours sifting through multi-hour streamed content to try and find the best moments to turn into highlights and reels and montages. But now, with Powder's AI, you can have curated highlights at your fingertips in just a matter of minutes. As you can see, everything here is quite streamlined and intuitive with a simple drag and drop interface. Powder ingests MP4 files from your Twitch, Kick, YouTube, or other VOD, and then starts automatically processing them to identify the best moments. Alternatively, you can always input your Twitch or Kick link, Kick link right here, and then Powder will download the video and begin processing it locally. It's important to note that the files that you upload must be MP4, and they must have a H.264 codec. So when you're streaming using OBS or Streamlabs or whatever your preferred streaming tool is, just double check that the video encoder is set to a H.264 codec. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick things off by dragging and dropping a piece of partner creator content right here. And once I do that, Powder is then going to prompt me to select my game if it is one of the 48 games that Powder currently supports for generating in-game highlights. If your game is not listed, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. All you have to do is choose my game is not listed and then Powder is going to focus exclusively on generating emotion-based highlights that were picked up via your microphone. But in this instance, I know that our partner creator was playing Fortnite. Once I choose Fortnite, Powder is then going to prompt me to select the types of highlights that I would like it to identify when it's analyzing the stream. I think more is better, so I'm going to leave all of these toggled on, but you're free to choose which ones that you would like to uh, be picked up via your stream. So I'm going to go ahead and hit processing here. And this is really just where you let the loading bar do its thing. Of course, the time that it takes for Powder to uh, process your stream and extract amazing highlights really depends on the length of the piece of streaming content that you've uploaded. The piece of content that I've uploaded here is about 20 minutes in duration, so it's going to take about 1 minute and 30 seconds to 2 minutes to extract uh, all of the highlights that it, it can identify. Uh, if it looks like it's going to take a while if you've uploaded a particularly large file, that's kind of like the time to take a little break from your screen, maybe check out what's happening on Reddit, give a buddy a call. But I'm going to speed things up here for you because I know that you're all busy and I'll pick things up when uh, Powder has finished processing this piece of content. Once your video has finished processing, you'll see the number of timestamps that have been identified by Powder and are ready for a review. In this case, Powder has generated seven timestamps and within those seven timestamps, there are six in-game kills, two notable audio detections, and one overall victory. Once we hit continue, this is going to bring us to the first editing stage in Powder. Great, so this is the first of our seven highlights to review. The first thing that you may notice on screen is this big yellow bar right here. This is the suggested start and stop time that Powder has assigned to this highlight as it captures the core and most interesting moments from the clip. However, you can move the start and stop times manually by moving these cursors. When you do this, you'll see that this number right here shifts, and this is really useful if you're preparing to post content to TikTok or Shorts. Powder also inserts an icon in the actual clip to signify why it generated this highlight. In this particular instance, there's a skull icon, which signifies that it was an in-game kill that was identified by the in-game highlight detection technology. I also know this because Powder always summarizes why it generated a clip on the bottom left here. I think this is a particularly great clip, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save and move to the next one. In this next highlight, you'll see right here that the icon is different. This signifies that it was an emotional reaction that was picked up via the audio stream on our partner uh, creator's microphone right here. And again, I know this because Powder summarizes on the bottom left that it was an audio detection and that it was a loudness peak that was picked up. You can easily navigate through these timestamps, adjust the cursors for the start and stop, start and end points, and approve our discard highlights before moving to the next phase of our editing process. I know that you're busy, so I'm going to pause the video here so that we can move on to the next section. After we confirm which clips we want to keep or discard, Petter will present us with a summary of our choices before we move to the next stage and prepare our content for posting on social media. So far we've talked about save, but now let's talk about simplify. We are now in the highlights folder viewing all of the clips that we had just approved. Here you can re-edit clips if you'd like to do so simply by hitting the studio button right here. You can delete clips by hitting the delete button right here. You can see where they're stored locally by hitting this button here, or you can post your best moments to TikTok in a really quick and easy way. And this brings us to the vertical layering system. The Powder vertical layering system enables creators to add up to seven layers so that you can capture as much gameplay content as possible from your stream when posting on vertical social media platforms. As you can see, these are already in position because I've used a pre-prepared template with four layers. 
And these four layers are capturing the main gameplay content, the IRL stream, the health bar, and then the map right here. You can move these around freely as I'm doing so right here. And of course, that's gonna change what's being captured in the vertical posting section. Um, feel free to experiment with it as a creator, of course. And if you make a mistake or wanna go backward or forward, you can always do so by hitting the undo and redo buttons up here. Once you are happy with the positioning of your layers, you can always save it as a template as I have done in this case, so that the next time that you uh, go to process a stream where you're playing your favorite game, you can simply choose a pre your pre-save template to see how everything looks in a vertical format really, really quickly. We've also pre-prepared a ton of uh, templates to save you even more time as a creator. Simply go down to the load section and then choose your game that you were playing on stream, and then Powder will superimpose um, a template that captures the main gameplay and content from that game. Um, I've just chosen Apex Legends, which of course is the wrong game, so it's not capturing the uh, right information. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my Fortnite template. Now that I've gone back to my Fortnite template, this is really quick. All I gotta do is post on t hit the post on TikTok button, and the powder will hit me with a couple of quirky messages as it does its thing. It's also lightning fast, which is really cool when you wanna post content ASAP after a stream. Once Powder has done its thing, your vertical highlight will be sent to your TikTok account and saved as a draft so that you can do further editing on that actual clip before you seal, seal it off and send it out to the world so that everybody can view your amazing clip. Next up is my favorite part. We're gonna create a montage of our best highlights that we had just approved. Montages enable you to merge your best streaming or gaming highlights into one awesome supercut clip and allows you to put your creative touch on how it all should come together. To create a montage, you simply hit the Create Montage button right here. And when you do so, it's gonna prompt you to optimize it for either horizontal formats or for vertical formats. In this instance, we're gonna go with vertical. Again, this is gonna bring us back to the Powder Studio vertical layering system, which we just saw previously in this demo. And it enables you to add up to seven layers so that you can capture as much gameplay as possible from your stream when you wanna post on vertical social media platforms. The only difference this time is, is that this template is going to be applied across all seven of the clips that we had previously approved. So let's go ahead and apply the template. So this is going to be ready in just a few short seconds, but montages are a great way to keep your audience engaged and entertained on TikTok or shorts or reels when they didn't have time to watch the full stream, but don't want to miss what went down when you were live. Montages are also <laughs> that we're continuously improving. Right now we have automatic transitions in this one vertical template, but there are more preset templates coming online in just a couple of weeks. And in the very near future, we're also gonna be introducing custom templates for vert vertical formats so that you can put your creative touch and personal branding on all of your content. And in the weeks after that, uh, not too far away, we're gonna be rolling out tons of new features and editing tools such as auto captions and subtitles, music, AI powered highlight scoring so that you know which of your clips really are the best ones, uh, smart tracking and analytics so that you can review your content's performance and see what is trending amongst other Powder Studio creators across social media platforms, and so much more. And ultimately, this brings us to the grow element of Powder. By leveraging the capabilities of Powder, you can significantly increase how far your streams go and how much content that you can produce without having to pull all nighters. Powder is your one-stop solution for simplifying your content creation process saving you tons of time and money and helping you grow across multiple social media platforms in just a few clicks. Thank you again for watching today's demo. I'm personally looking forward to chatting with each and every one of you in the Powder Discord and seeing all of the fantastic content that you produce with Powder. If you have any questions or need further info or just wanna say hi, I'm always here to help. Feel free to reach out to me at jeff at powder.gg, that's G-E-O-F-F -F at P-O-W-D-E-R dot G-G, or hit me up on Discord. But beyond that, thank you again so much for watching. Goodbye, and game on.